I have attended every but one East camp as a punter, five years as a leader, and no one else can say this. No one can say this. I've also done three years as task force. Who else has done three years? No one but me. No one. Two hours later. A few moments later. I can't describe it in three words, Sally, <laughs> because I've been to Contagious for years. Over a decade in three words? No. That's what I wrote down. Have no idea. Oh, that's an easy one. The Bible teaching for by far. Boy, a country moyer. The Bible teaching is sick. Bible teaching. Yeah, love it. Ben Hills. Burying his smelly brown boxers, trying to cover up a poo fart that he did earlier that morning. He even brought a shovel to Contagious to dig the hole, just in case. Someone else told the same story. Did they? Nathan White? Yeah. <laughs> Clearly it's a favourite. I would say my first year as a leader, when we did the life of David in 1 and 2 Samuel. And the reason that was my favourite teaching series was because I did pre-reading. Now that makes it sound like I did all the hard work. No, 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 no. I just read 1 and 2 Samuel twice, which is actually, you know what? That is actually, at that age, I was what, 20? I could barely read a poem or a story book or a children's book. And honestly, there's like, how many chapters? I don't even know. This is how well, this is how good my memory is. There's like 60 chapters in total or something ridiculous like that. Not small chapters. I think the... Uh, the biggest one of the biggest chapters is chapter 17 which has of two Samuel, which has 58 verses right times that by 60. i don't even know the answer to that but that's in the thousands definitely it's not quite in the thousands is it what's 58 times 60. no 50 times 50 is oh yeah it is in the thousands so there's basically like thousands of thousands thousands of uh, verses in 1 and 2 Samuel. What it did, right, for the teaching when it was preached, it actually brought it to life like so much more because I was familiar with the with the words and the stories and stuff. And then as he was teaching, I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that when I was reading it. And, oh, that's sick. I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice this. I noticed that and thought it was that, but obviously it doesn't mean that. It means that. And he just brought it to life and it was just brilliant. Why does Contagious matter? Because it stands for the same, same thing that I stand for, which is the most important thing that is happening in this world, the proclamation of the gospel, which is simply that Jesus is Lord, he's risen from the grave and forgiveness can be yours but you have to repent and believe. Repent and believe. And that's why Contagious Matters. Because of question six, duh. How, I mean, honestly, what a silly follow-up question. God, because I want 
question six to be my question seven. That's why, that's my answer.